This video demonstrates my Arduino phone dialing application that uses the Twilio cloud-based telephony system. Here we've got an Arduino Duella Minova, an Arduino Ethernet shield that's going via Cat5 cable out to my router. I've got a SparkFun 12-place keypad, and then a SparkFun, SparkFun um, serial LCD. So you can see it says started, press any key to connect to the server, so that's the server that's on my, running on my web server. It's connected. Welcome to the information service. Press the star key to start. So let's just see what happens. We dial a, it says to enter your 10 digit phone number. So let's just start first off with an invalid number. So that would be a typical 10 digit string that it accepted the number but it says that it can't be dialed. So if we do a random number that's not a phone number, that's not 10 digits, it just comes back and says that's not a valid number and then it comes back to the welcome screen. So let's see what it does when we enter an actual phone number. I'll enter my cell phone so it says press star and enter your 10 digit number Pound. Now number accepted. Number's been called. It just takes a second for it to come through here. There we go. Hello. Welcome to the Arduino Information Service. Press one to be connected to an operator. So let's press, press one. Two to leave a voicemail. Press three to receive an SMS message. Press four to repeat this menu. Press 5 to hang up. Let's repeat the menu just for fun. Hello. Welcome to the Arduino Information Service. Press 1 to be connected to an operator. Let's try that. Now, you'll hear Skype ringing. That's because that's set through to my Skype line. Okay. Let's dial back into the service again. This is a test message on the Arduino Twilio system. This is a test message on the Twilio system. Thanks for the message. Here is what you recorded. This is a test message on the Arduino Twilio system. This is a test message on the Twilio system. Goodbye. Now that message can be recovered from the uh, Twilio website in the form of a WAV file, or you can also get that transcribed into text, and then that text could uh, then be emailed on to somebody else. Now let's test sending an SMS message via the Twilio application. You are being sent an SMS message. Just takes a second for it to show up. And there it is. It's a canned SMS. You can't, in this version anyway, reply to it. It just says you're receiving this message from the Twilio Arduino application. And that's it.